Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. So we're starting out in Windlaw and we're heading up Highway 6 and we're going to a place called Slocan, BC. It used to be referred to as Slocan City and that would be uh, starting in the late 1800s, like 1898, somewhere around there. And it was, uh, I think it was a, basically a termination of the, uh, the rail line it was coming into the area to bring a lot of the silver silver ore and gold ore out from the mines. This area was uh, had a, just a ton of mines, uh, large silver mines and some a few gold mines as well. This whole area was uh, quite a little hub of activity for a number of years. I think there's been a couple different um, rushes kind of when there's been like you know mining activity i think that even up into the 80s there was a couple of mines that were quite active here they're, i'm sure they're mining right now but kind of large scale stuff best of, that's as far as i know anyway i'm not sure maybe there is some large scale stuff going on but i know there was a, a mine that closed in the in the mid 80s i think and i, I think you can do some searching around and find out information on that. I know some people uh, go there exploring and going through the buildings and that sort of thing, but there's really nothing there. Just a bunch of garbage and a bunch of old buildings. A few old vehicles. Now, Slocan City is right at the southern tip of Slocan Lake. Slocan Lake is also where uh, New Denver is. So it used to be a sternwheeler. I think it was called the Slocan. It used to go from Slocan City and travel up the lake, take people and miners and that sort of thing. There weren't any roads at that time going up. So basically if you came in this way, you had to come in, I think, by train for the most part. You know, uh, there were some people that would, of course, bring in, you know, horses and mules and that sort of thing and uh, their own equipment. That's how they got in here originally from areas like Nelson and maybe even Castlegar. I don't know how big Castlegar was back then. But uh, this area, primarily most people came in on the train at that time. So I mentioned the Sternwheeler used to travel up to a place called New Denver. New Denver was connected by rail and by trail and that up to a place called Sandon, which was another big city at the time. And it went through uh, a couple different versions where it, you know, it burned down originally and then it was rebuilt and then uh, flood washed out. I think in the, uh, gonna say maybe the fifties. I think they built the. They built the uh, town main street on top of a creek that was covered over with wood. So kind of a bad idea. Anyway, we'll talk about that in a, in a later video, but this area here is really nice spot. And uh, this, I, this little town at the end of the lake is one of the nicest spots around. And, you know, the town, most of the original town, I think, is gone. The roads still remain the way they are, and there's some older buildings, but they probably date back to, like, the 40s and 50s. The old hotels and all those kind of big buildings that they had built in the late 1800s, uh, they've all since, I think, fallen down or burned down or something. One thing to note, if you're driving this road, this is Highway 6, I don't know if I mentioned that, but uh, if you're driving this road, kind of about halfway between Windlaw and uh, Slocan, there's a rest stop, and that's right at the at a place called Lemon Creek. And that's quite a, 
historic kind of creek. There is a road that goes off to the right. That's Lemon Creek Road and it goes, mount, goes all the way up into the mountains and stuff. And a lot of the old mines are up there. So, you know, if somebody wanted to go and explore, look at some of these old mines and the areas, there's lost treasures and all kinds of things in this area. That was uh, the center of a lot of the activity. But it's like, it's very steep and very high up there when you get into where the mines and stuff are. But uh, it's quite interesting. Actually, I'll put a link to a couple of videos. This old series used to run in BC called uh, Gold Trails and Ghost Towns. And they have this historian um, uh, guy who's like quite knowledgeable in BC, kind of the um, originator for a lot of the techniques and stuff that a lot of people use, gold panning and spread a lot of, a lot of the old knowledge from how to uh, plaster mine in BC. He's been the source through an uh, old magazine that used to be produced, I think, since about 1968, somewhere between there and maybe the early 80s, Canada West magazine. Anyway, his name was Bill Barley, and a couple of videos where he talks about this area, and specifically Slocan City, but uh, definitely worth watching. I'll put a couple links to them in the, in the description of the video, and you just have to click on them and it'll take you right there, but it gives you all kinds of information about, uh, yeah, some pretty interesting stuff. Anyway, um, worth watching, especially if you decide to come this way, get your uh, interest in heading this way for a camping trip or exploring or something. So about, like I say, about halfway between here and there is this little rest area and that's where Lemon Creek is. You might read about that in some of the books and stuff of the area. I think I saw the sign, yeah, so the sign back there was for the rest area. It's just on the left here. And the road right there on the right, that's Lemon Creek Road. But you can stop at this little rest area. And it's the point of interest. There was a book that the Slocan City Historical Society, I think this is what they were called, um, they put out in the uh, in the 80s. I think it was maybe uh, 85 or 86 or something. And I have a copy of it somewhere, but it's uh, it's quite a well-written book, quite thick, you know, for a small town kind of putting out its own book, you know, a few hundred pages, but goes into great deal detail of this uh, this area and the people and the characters that lived here and at the time it was written there were still people that still had first person knowledge of it so uh, kind of interesting and you can find it on eBay and stuff like that but I forget what it's called Slocan but it was a Slocan historical society so if you just search for that you'll know, there's only one book they've ever put out I think it, maybe it's just Slocan City, that's what it's called. I can't remember, but... Interesting. So, at the end of Slocan Lake, of course, that's where the Slocan River starts. And that flows down towards the Kootenai River. and that joins up the Kootenai River kind of halfway between Castlegar and Nelson, so. It's the beginning of October right now. If you were to come in here, uh, say March, it's still have probably snow on the ground. By May, I think uh, it would look very similar to this. Might be still some snow up in the top of the mountains, but they definitely get a lot of snow here in the, in the winter.
We're going to be turning to the left up here. There's a couple different turnoffs you could take to get to Slocan, the actual town site up there. Yeah, all basically just connecting up with the same roads. This is Slocan, kind of the outer edges of it. Now when we get down to kind of closer to the main part of town, it's uh, the streets are quite wide and that was because they were uh, taking the wagons on and off uh, the rail cars and or lo you know loaded wagons on and off from the uh, paddle wheeler taking them to the rail cars and that so they didn't want to plug the streets up so they're quite it, the streets are quite wide in town a lot wider than you think for an old town that was my first impression when I came in here anyway years ago This is closer to what would have been the downtown core. It's the old false fronted building there, but that's probably not that old. But even the newer stuff is uh, probably the 40s. So straight ahead here, I think this is where the stern wheeler would come in, the docks and that. I don't know if you're allowed to camp here. Probably, probably not. I don't. I don't know. Some people might be able to get away with it, but we're just going to go down here, uh, down to the, what's now a boat launch. I don't know. Maybe that was where the stern wheeler came in. But like I say, the roads are quite wide. This next one here to the left, I forget what it's called, but it's uh, it's quite a wide, wide road. But I think this is where we'll end this video. The next video, I might have a little bit more on this. Um, it's old town, Slocan City. But other than that, thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you on the next one.